Welcome to Inside the NFL with Noah Hamilton. I'm with my co-hosts, Xavier and Ryan. Now, today we're going to be debating who are the top five quarterbacks in the NFL. Xavier, who do you think your top five quarterbacks in the NFL would be right now? Well, if I'm going to be honest, I'm going to go based off of what I think next year will be. Number five, give me two attacks by Noah. I know it's a very wild take, but I do feel like that he will stand out and he'll be the top of the AFC East. Josh Allen's missing weapons. He has Hill. Waddle and if Raheem Moser in there will carry his team and his defense will get better. I feel like he'll be five. Four, give me Joe Burrow. Kim coming off an of ACL injury is not good. But I feel like Joe Burrow somewhere he won't be top three, but he will be just borderline at top four. The Bengals are a good team. He's played LSU here. Great insane last year in 2019. Joe Burrow is the way to go. 2022 made a Super Bowl. He's great. Three, give me Mahomes. I know this is a wild, wild take. I know people are hearing me for this. I feel like Mahomes. If we're really honest with you, he's gonna have a down year this year. He's down, he gonna have a down year last year. It's gonna go down him more. Lose more key players. They had less addition to most teams. I feel like it's gonna be a little bit down here. He might even get hurt this year. You know, he's been getting hurt for the past few years. This one might be a little more serious, especially if his leg. You know, he runs a lot. He's three, two. Give me Mr. Josh Allen, MVP favorite. But I just I don't see him being a number one. Where I have number one right now. Josh Allen, he's a great guy. Can use his legs. He, he has crazy throw up power. He made some other decisions here and there, but he's still definitely number two. Number one, 100% Lamar Jackson, two-time MVP. That is not the people. Some questionable decisions there in the top five. Personally, I'm going to go with, obviously, the top three is obvious. Allen, Lamar, and Mahomes, undisputed top three, depending on where you put them. I personally always put Mahomes at first. Allen in third, Lamar at second. Lamar. Now, Lamar's number one. Ryan, what do you think about the top five in the NFL in quarterbacks? At number one, I have to do Patrick Mahomes. He's just been so talented in recent years, leading his team to so many Super Bowls. I just think he has to be number one. Number two, I would put Lamar Jackson, but he can be inconsistent in his years after winning MVP. So I need to do Josh Allen, even though he's lost a lot of his weapons. I think it will make his legs shine more, and I think he'll stand out more. I'll Number three up. has to be Lamar. After winning the MVP, having an amazing season, I think he can come back and maybe not do as well, but still amazing. Number four needs to be Joe Burrow. Like Xavier said, he's coming off an injury, but he's one of the best passing quarterbacks in the league. He has Jamar Chase on his team. His O-line is getting better, making him more protection. And then number five, I know it's only his second year, but I need to do C.J. Stroud. With all the weapons that he's gotten with Joe Mixon, Stephon Diggs, Nico Collins, Dalton Schultz, I think that with a strong defense on the Texan side and then he having the ball a lot, I think he'll be able to do very well. Okay. All right, it seems we have some breaking news. Steelers quarterback Justin Fields will reportedly return kicks for the Steelers in the upcoming NFL season. Xavier, as our resident Steelers fan, how do you think about this? I mean, this is this is a very crazy thing. I mean, I mean, just knowing that quarterbacks have never really returned kicks, now this new thing is in post, it could cause some injuries. You know how return kicks they always have a while to be returned. And hit big hits on something. He could get hurt, and this really is something the best idea. Keep quarterbacks where the quarterbacks are. And if, without Justin Fields, will the Steelers really be doing Wilson? Wilson might only be there for seven games. If hurts, if Fields gets hurt. What's going to happen then? Uh, I don't like this at all. Ryan, what do you think about this? The script is real. This was shown the Madden trailer like a week ago. How would they already know this? Are they like talking with the NFL? This doesn't make sense. But in all seriousness, it doesn't surprise me that much. I watched him a lot on the Bears. He would run much more than he would throw. And he was like, he did much better with his legs than throwing. It does not shock me all that much. Obviously, with the new kickoff rules, kickoffs are slightly more safe. Obviously, we've seen the Chiefs will have Justin Reed doing their kickoffs, but I still don't think it's safe enough for Fields. And that's going to wrap it up for Inside the NFL. I'm Noah Hamilton with my co-hosts, Xavier and Ryan.